Okay, here we go. So, I found myself a TV on Craigslist. My dad and I went out to get a uh, uh, pick up the TV. So we broke it down on site and we took the screen off and smashed up the rest of it, put it all in the trash. And what I have left is the screen. So what I've done is, if you look, I have uh, taken the screen off the front and at the front here, this is uh, the protective lens. This is what's on the front that stops people damaging the lens and the fingerprints. And once you've taken that off, what you get then is this. And this is my Fresnel lens. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do some tests. And you see I'm wearing sunglasses. And the reason for that is it's really, really bright. And you can damage your retinas. It's really bright, I'm telling you. So whatever you do when you're doing this, for safety, wear some really dark sunglasses or even like a welder's mask I've seen people wear. Um, I have looked at the light without it and you get that little dot in the middle of your eye for like hours. So, and I only looked at it for a second, so just be careful. So let's test it. Okay, first things first. Uh, when you get your lens, um, you need to clean it up. I'm just doing a test, so I've not cleaned mine up yet. Uh, you'll notice this, uh, when you touch it, you'll feel there's two sides to it. There's a smooth side and there's a rough side. See me ruin my fingernail, can you hear that? Now the rough side is actually the, the actual lens part of it, the Fresnel lens. Um, and basically I did some research and what you need to do is face that towards the sun and that will focus the light more efficiently and you'll get greater heat. So let's give it a go. My God, look at that. <laughs> Literally instantaneous combustion. The power of the lens. I'm going to have to say that's a successful test. to fire okay check it out so I went out looking for some scrap wood on Craigslist some old uh, framing joists or something like that so I could build a frame and I was out with my family at a garage sale and I found this uh, clothes rack that was uh, broken and uh, somebody sold it me for three bucks so I modified it today and check it out I've got a I've got wheels on it adjustable height it's perfect um, I actually didn't build a frame for the Fresnel lens itself I actually used because um, it's an aluminum frame on the frame that was holding in the, uh, the television I uh, literally just cut this down uh, it's only aluminum so it cuts really easily and uh, then mounted it straight on there so Literally this entire thing has cost me three bucks. So, good stuff. So we're gonna do a test and uh, let's see if we can get some heat up this thing. So this is my little testing tool. It's a digital thermometer. It's like 9.50 in the morning. So we're not even at the highest point of the day. So it's July, so it's still pretty warm. It's, well, I wouldn't say it's really warm. So we're at 68 degrees ambient temperature. And what I did is I got myself a digital thumb owner, put it on my 2x4, stuck my probe on the end. So I'm going to push it into the focal point and uh, let's see what sort of temperature we can get. So here we go. I'm going to switch on the probe. And what I'll do is I'll show you a little bit. I'll put the focus, get the focal point on the lens. And as we're doing that, I will put this over here. As you can see, oh my god, look at it go. Well, okay, my probe is <laughs> my probe is set to um, maximum of 400 degrees. So I guess, as you can see, fire. Awesome. So uh, at least 400 degrees of direct heat from this thing. Oh my God! Did you see that? That is insane. It's even now. It's 
coming down now, but 327, even burnt a little scotch mark where he was. That's insane. So, successful test, $3. I have now my solar cooker. Um, well over 400 degrees. I'll have to find a, a better temperature gauge and see if I can get it even higher. Okay, so I found this meat thermometer uh, for ovens. This one goes up to 600, so let's give this one a go. <laughs> wow. Okay, it got so hot it melted the, <laughs> the rubber band. <laughs> Holy shit. That's insane. Did you see that? Oh, that's cool. I'm going to say well over 600 degrees. Okay, I'm almost enough and cook it with this thing. So let's see if we can cook with this thing. Looks like it's uh... <laughs> Looks like I'm frying an egg. Okay, looks like we're done. Fried egg. Yay! <laughs> so there you have it, my first meal cooked completely by the sun. And it's cooked all the way through, see the energy yolk, solid. Little burns as I was messing with the uh, focal length, but um, you're not really supposed to fry eggs, you're supposed to use ovens and stuff on them, but it worked, and that's my first meal cooked free free by the power of the sun.